Next up is an entertainment company with representation as a mission. Hi Sharks, I'm Manuel. And I'm Giselle. And I'm Turnus. And we are Black Sands Entertainment. We're currently seeking 500,000 for 5% of our company. <laughs> Sharks. America loves entertainment, be it movies, television, anime, or comics. There has never been more content than there is today. But there is still a struggle to find content and characters that represent the black community's historical achievements before slavery. That's why we created Black Sands Entertainment. Black Sands is one of the only successful black-owned publishing houses in America, and it all started with the flagship title, Black Sands, The Seven Kingdoms. And after 100,000 copies sold, we knew a legend had been born. Wow. Our sales are phenomenal. But one thing that can take a $1 million publishing IP and turn it into a billion dollar licensing and merchandising IP is to make it into an animated series. We are here to give black and brown creators a place to tell their stories and shine a spotlight on the rich history of our people. So Sharks, who, who is ready, ready to, to join, join the Black Sands family? family? Ooh, okay. Please sit back, relax. We're gonna give you a little taste of the future of Black Sands Entertainment. How long has he trained you? I did not train him. I took him into the wilderness for five years. He has survived. I forbid this battle. You will stop nothing. Damn it, brother. Why must you be like this all the time? Asar, you need to think this through. There is nothing to think about. Black Sands, you can read it and watch it. Now let's go. <laughs> all right, well, you know what? I'm gonna start here. And not just because I'm black, but because I understand the value behind IP, the want and need for it. Um, what's the cost that you put into this so far? So our animated property, which is an eight minute pilot, is 250,000. And Turnus is the expert in that. Here's our head of studio. Is this all self-engineered, self-developed? Yeah, like I've been in the business like 25 plus years. Wow. I've been with Disney, Pixar, like major studios. And I left all that to join Black Sands because it's something I really believe in. And mm -hmm. what I saw was like a real winner. How are you creating a revenue stream? Most of our revenue stream is physical books. That's what we do. Um, currently we're on pace to do about 120,000 units this year. Direct to consumer? Direct to consumer. And what you sell them for? So we sell that one for, it costs $2 at landing. $20 retail and $8 wholesale. Good for you. $20 retail, is that a typical retail price? That is a typical retail price. Um, you mentioned comic books as well. We have a lot of comic books. We have 12 titles that are currently signed to Black Sands. The one that you currently have in your hand is our flagship title, which makes the bulk of our money. So from comic book one to now, what has been the progression of sales that have gotten you guys to that number of 120,000? Um, in our first year, we did about $40,000 in sales. We just started in 2017. In 2018, we did about 220,000 in sales. Uh, 2018, we raised capital for um, a DVD. We built that. In 2020, we had 600,000 in sales. This year, we're at 800,000 in sales. Year to date. Yeah, year to date. Manuel and Giselle, what's your background? So I'm a military veteran. I serve in, in the Army. Thank, Thank you for your so service. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we took that military background, me and my husband, so and you're married? We, yes, we are. Did you know anything about animation, anything about comic books? We didn't books? know anything, but with the military background, we knew how to execute and manage a business. And who created the stories? Manuel. I'm a big entertainment guy. I constantly see the same Egyptian story flop over and over again in the industry. They're very detached from the historical setting. And so I said, I'm going to make my own story about Egypt. I'm going to put everybody in the Middle East into it. So we got Spartans, Minoans, Canaanites. You got the whole Bible right there, yeah, right? You got the whole, you got the whole yeah. Middle East involved. Educators, they love this stuff. So, so the next big question is your profitability and cash burn. This year, we're 108000 in the green. How much cash do you have in in the bank? 300,000. Uh, to Kevin's point on leveraging IP, where do you see the series going, right? You've got to have a place you'd like to see it because it's not a traditional television Absolutely. type thing. So we are eventually going to find a distributor, right? Let me stop you right there. Just, um, I act as a one-stop shop. I'm, I'm a distributor, I'm a production hub. Um, $500,000 is a, is a lot. What are you using the money for? 
So the money that we're going to get, um, you know, when we get this deal, right, is to expand the production Just like of black that, sand. you're going to get that deal. <laughs> Man, you always got it's confidence. I like that. I love that. I like it. I'm telling you right that. now, we do eight issues a year. We will massively expand it. We'll probably get to 30 different issues a year, including pumping out at least a full season of the main title and all these ridiculously lovable characters in the series, they get their own series. See, but when I when I ask you that question, I'm, I'm expecting a clear answer. Tell me where you're spending the money. That's what I need to know. Hiring artists to basically build this pipeline. I need writers too and everything else. These artists are like $30,000, $40,000 each every single year. All right, guys, I do understand what you're doing and I understand the world. The 5% is, that's ridiculous. I'm gonna throw that out the window. That can't happen. I mean, you're asking for an investment and you're asking for uh, the added value in you creating IP. So I'm just gonna tell you the value I feel like I'm bringing to you before I give you my offer, okay? I own distribution in the world of audio. Yes. I own distribution in the world of television. Because of my ecosystem and what I know we can bring to the table, I see the significant value in just a brand. And if you have a brand and you're already moving product in that brand, that's a value to me. Because if you do strike gold in this space and you get to the world of toys, et cetera, well, this can be a, this can be a money maker. Oh, I just cursed, I'm sorry. This can be, <laughs> Whoa, this, this can be a money maker. So I am going to put an offer on the table. Wait, can I get in it? Of course you can. You tell me if you like where I'm at, okay? okay. You're asking for $500,000 and you're saying we want it because we want to bring in the other people to help create. Well, I already have that. We already have those people. So you're not paying for that necessarily because you'll be accessing mine. Kev, I'll help on the technology, right? Okay. I'll help on the online distribution side of it. Okay. But you've got the whole pathway. In you're... this case, I've never been more comfortable yeah, about, that's the taking, whole point. about taking an asset and being able to bring value to an asset. This is what I do. You're the green light that they need in order to get to the next level, right? Look, you got $500,000 on the table, but we want 30%. And I, and I think that's more than fair. Can I counter? Yeah. You're I nuts. Of course, of course. You have to tell me if I'm crazy or not. 500,000 for 10% between the two of you and perpetuity on books, 25 cents per hardcover. The royalty deal, no, that's all, not what this Thank is about. Thank goodness I'm here. No, because you know as well as I do, the grand slam doesn't come from making per book. It's when this gets picked up for a movie and turns into a franchise uh, and he's the producer. I'll give you Look, last example. I'll take the royalty. <laughs> I'll give you, here, here's the last example, okay? This is, this is where my creative mind goes as a CEO. What I'm telling you is that my 30% ask is not because of the hypothetical opportunity. I'm embedding you into my system. I understand 100%. But I raised capital on that last valuation. And, and, and to but literally you... go six times How much have you higher, raised? I raised a million dollars, and the last 500 was at 5%. Yeah, but that's it, not the it's point. Just, it's just, I think it's the just... problem here is there's partners, and then there's partners. Get the difference? Some partners aren't created equal. And, and when you tell your investors mm -hmm. who you just brought in, it's not about the valuation that they paid. It's the valuation of where it's going so they can get a return, right? Yes. And by the way, I would not be asking for this particular number if you didn't have to access my real resources. You said we're gonna get some creative people to come in, new animation, new stories. I have that. Okay. That engine is already working, it's already pumping. You're tapping into an ecosystem that exists. Okay, my fans. They want this done. They so do. you guys got a deal. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Let's go. That's it. Let's go. That's it. Good job.